Hey, it's Josh here, your web design coach. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of SiteGround's backend, their site tools. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to be familiar and comfortable with these site tools so that you can manage your WordPress website. This is part three of a three-part mini series on getting started with SiteGround hosting. You, if you haven't caught the first two, I showed you how to set up your SiteGround account, install WordPress, and now I'm gonna give you the overview of the back end. Before we dive in, if you have not yet signed up for SiteGround, make sure to go to my link at joshhall.co slash SiteGround, and you'll see something like this with a page that is personally recommended by me, and you'll get an exclusive offer to sign up through SiteGround. So make sure you do that, and now let's take a look at the back end. All right, guys, well, in this video, I just wanna give you a brief overview of the SiteGround back end, because they used to use what's most common with most hosts, which was cPanel. And cPanel, if you're familiar with GoDaddy, Bluehost, or other hosting companies, it typically looks something like this. This is uh, a typical cPanel where you'll have options for domain options, WordPress, different tools. You can uh, change things and edit things with your mail. You'll have a, a section for files and databases. well. With SiteGround's new backend, they used to have that, then they upgraded, and now if we click into Site Tools, It'll look something like this. Now here's what's really interesting. And the reason I wanted to give you this walkthrough is because all of these categories have all of the same tools that you see in cPanel. So for example, uh, if we look at files, there's file manager, FTP accounts, et cetera. Well, if we go into the new backend here, we click site, notice we see file manager, FTP accounts, a lot of the same stuff. In this case, if we were to see, um, Domains, for example, in typical cPanel, we go down here, we'll see a lot of those same options, park domains, subdomains, redirects, and zone editor, et cetera, right there. Now, here's what's really, really interesting. What you're seeing right here, this cPanel, is actually my current SiteGround account. So I've been using SiteGround for years, and their bigger, older accounts still have cPanel. So my account was somehow grandfathered in to where I still see cPanel. So this account that I'm showing you is actually a dummy account that I set up just to give you a walk through this. But my cPanel or my SiteGround account still shows cPanel. I don't know how long cPanel will be offered, but I just wanted to show you that all of the settings that you see in a cPanel are gonna be replicated over here. It's just gonna look a little bit different. This is really important too because I have a whole course on cPanel and I let everyone know in that course, it's still 100% applicable, it just looks a little bit different. Uh, actually looks a lot cleaner and nicer. So for example, if we look at file manager, notice here, we go into public.html, you'll see the WP admin folder, the content folder includes, and a bunch of scary PHP files. Well, if we go in here and let's go into file manager here under cPanel, and let's just look at a test site that I have here. Notice all of the files, the file structure is exactly the same. FTP or WP admin, content, and all the scary PHP files. So it all looks very, it looks different here, but all of the same stuff is there. It might just look a little bit different. Now, some stuff looks exactly the same. For example, if we go to MySQL, and if we go into PHP My Admin and take a look at the database for this website, if we click access PHP My Admin, it'll look like this. And if we go back to our OG cPanel, if we go into databases and PHP my admin here, notice, ta-da, still looks exactly the same. It's just a different area to get to it and it just looks slightly different uh, in these main settings, but the actual database itself is using PHP my admin, which is very interesting that something like PHP my admin will work with cPanel and different dev tools as well. So. Wanted to give you that walkthrough. Now, let me just give you a, just a quick tour of some of these main settings, just so you kind of have a feel for what you're seeing here. So dashboard, of course, will bring you to some basics. Uh, site is, again, what you would see to access your files. You can manage your FTP accounts. Um, I don't use most of this, but I will get into the database, of course, through MySQL. Here's where you can find your databases, manage the users to those databases, and you can access the actual database to the site. Again, if this is sounding like a foreign language to you, I highly recommend checking out my cPanel course. I'll link to it below. Uh, that'll be a really good solution for you to get an understanding of what's in the back end of websites, uh, and particularly cPanel, and again, back ends of, of, of all hostings. Security is gonna have some really nice options for your, you can do backups here, although I highly recommend doing backups elsewhere with a tool like ManageWP, which is what I use. 
Uh, you'll be able to manage the security options for your website or multiple websites. And there's some other options here in security. Again, I don't use every single one of these, but I just wanted to give you a walkthrough of, of what you can expect. If we look at speed, there's some caching options. And if you have Cloudflare on your site, you can adjust that as well. Uh, WordPress, again, is what I showed you, uh, or actually, so I didn't show it to you earlier, but you would see that typically right here to where you can install WordPress. Um, that's right here. So you can actually install and manage your WordPress installs right here. They have some really nice options for staging and migrating websites. Very, very cool and some auto updating uh, options as well. Now, one difference between cPanel that you are usually gonna see is that under domains, you'll usually see add-on domains where you can add different websites there. Depending on your plan on SiteGround, there's some different options for that. You generally only see park domains, subdomains, redirects, and your zone editor. And these are the these are the options. This is where my cPanel course will really help you out understanding what these are. And you can add different text records and MX records, which are really important for your email, just as an FYI. Uh, but if you need to add different domains to your hosting, you can actually just do that in the main hosting area on SiteGround and update your plan accordingly. Email will have some options to where if you have email accounts set up, and again, just like cPanel, with other, with other hosting companies, you'll you'll see forwarders, autoresponders, all that stuff is right here. And then uh, I don't use any of this, but you can check your statistics with websites here, and there's some dev tools as well. Uh, this is actually really handy for managing the PHP version of your websites if you need to do any custom type of PHP work for whatever WordPress websites you're working on, particularly older ones that don't auto update. We need to, need to get in and, and update this. You can do that there. So that's basically it, guys. Wanted to give you a walkthrough of the new SiteGround cPanel, particularly for those of you who are used to seeing this as a typical cPanel in the background because the new back end of, of uh, SiteGround, again, is not technically cPanel, but just to put your mind at ease, it is using the same tools again just looks a little bit different and you just need to click around to get to some of those things that you would see in cPanel like file manager or your my PHP my admin or anything like that. So hope this helps guys. And again, highly recommend SiteGround hosting. If you haven't already choose, uh, chose SiteGround, you can go to my website, go to joshhall.co slash SiteGround and that'll bring you to this page here that is officially recommended by me and you'll get a discount when you sign up with uh, SiteGround under my affiliate link. So check that out, joshhall.co slash SiteGround. And lastly, I would love to help you fast track your web design journey in building and growing your own web design business. I've created a free 10-step action plan for you who are either wanting to learn how to build awesome websites, for those of you who either want to start and grow your own freelance web design business, or for those of you who already have an existing business and you want to scale it to six figures and beyond, just go to joshhall.co slash get started. You'll come to this page where you can choose where you're at in your journey and which path you want to go down. And again, I have a free 10 step action for you, which will guide you to fast tracking your web design journey. So excited to come alongside you and to help you grow your business. Start with SiteGround hosting. SiteGround is awesome. And then once you have that in place, now I can help you start building awesome websites. And then you'll find out how you can use SiteGround hosting to host all your web design clients as well. So go to again, joshhall.co slash get started. And let's do this together.